How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Century Night Tactics. At the end of the last episode, I just happened to stumble across this chest that was hidden behind the pink, pink peaked castle. So if you guys play for yourself, make sure to go find that and, you know, collect all these goodies here. So, uh, I, I didn't look at what anything was when I left off the last episode, so here they are. The Lucky Elixir, which I assumed was going to be a, a permanent stat boosting thing, but it's way sweeter than I thought it was going to be. Permanently increases the party's chance to find rare items in loot bags. So that's fucking sweet. I, I'm just going to, between that and that amulet that I have, and that uh, piece of some other equipment, all those things that are adding to my chance of finding rare loot. I'm never going to not find rare loot eventually here. I, I'm just getting so jacked up full of everything. I don't want to fight that guy right now. I want to I go deal with like my equipment and stuff. <laughs> Uh, so it's just for the whole the whole party. So I guess just um, wait. Just it says just for the night, but maybe that's just the way it's displayed here. It's it's a little bit confusing. Permanently increase the party's chance. It's the party. I think I think it shouldn't matter if I use it on the night. The knight used Lucky Elixir, so he used it, but it, it's for the whole party. Lesser Mana Potion. A small jar filled with a mixture of arcanic herbs and elements. Reduces your next cast spell's cooldown by three seconds when cast. What the hell? Let me try and say that three times fast. Reduces your next cast spell's cooldown by three seconds when cast. Uh, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Reduces your next cast spell's cooldown by three seconds when cast. Reduces your next cast spell's cooldown by three seconds... It's not even it's not even worth doing. It's it's not nearly as difficult as I, I as I thought it was gonna be, so let's just move on from that. I am going to use I'm gonna give that to the priestess because I feel like her healing is very important and I wanna make sure that I have that at the ready so that I can cast that as often as I need without having to worry about it, right? Level three party recommended, I'm all set. Stone wind keep Unknown territory, a centralized bastion of trade, military, and government, Stonewind Keep is the oldest standing castle of human civilization and has been ruled by the royal monarch for centuries. Active quests 1. I, so I already have an active quest, which was just coming to here. Was that it? Quest completed? Hold it there. Nobody's allowed to enter or leave this point without the king's written permission during wartime. We're here on official business. Here's our seal of approval. Yeah, it's documented in writing. Now let us in. Hmm, the documents do look like ours, and they have an official seal. Do we let them in? Why wouldn't you, man? Does this not... Is, it seems like you just laid out that everything is in perfect order. Why would you do it? Why are you stopping me? I guess we have to. God, I hate bureaucrats. Um, let's test them. Have them do some defense work for us in the meantime. <laughs> Good idea. That'll give us a little break. What a bunch of lazy slobs. I'm gonna I'm gonna bust through and into your castle and get you guys fired. At the very least reprimanded. You'll you'll be suspended without pay. <clears throat> we'll grant you access on one condition. I'm we heard you. We heard you talking about it. You guys weren't being very subtle or quiet. We were told the seal would get us inside. Yeah, that's step one. Hand over the document, knight. Okay, and step two? Intelligence reports. A small horde heading our way soon. You defend the gates and we'll let you in afterwards. Sound good? Are we allowed to say no? How many were reported? We're not sure of the specifics, but it's a rather large group. And you're just going to send four guys up against it who you haven't actually seen tested in battle? What if these guys are just kind of like fresh, fresh new heroes, you know? They could have just been peasants like a day ago who happened to come across like some cool gear and they're just like trying it out. You really shouldn't send them into battle without a little backup maybe? Guess we don't have much of a choice in the matter. Fine. Alright boys, raise the gate. We're coming back in for a nap. <laughs> now run! Just drag, 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 drag. Go right in there after them. Oh, you've had so much time. At least two of you could have made it through there. One of you would have been left behind, and then the fourth one, unfortunately, might have been cut in half by the closing gate there, but, you know, two out of four, 50%. That's, like, not bad. Those are those are pretty good odds. I think, I think if you had a 50% chance of winning any game of gambling, people would gamble a whole lot more. You should be, you should be taking those risks, guys. Here they come. Everybody ready? Locked and loaded. Let's do this. And the rogue has nothing to say because she's just like, she's just a strong silent type. She just likes to keep things a little cool. She just wants wants everyone to think she's sweet. I add add to the, the mystery of her, her character. 
Oh, okay, I think I think I'm. I feel like I'm getting better at the party management stuff. Uh, I want to. I want to make sure I'm making better use of everyone's everyone's skills here. No, you're supposed to use your. God. They're, oh, I see. Once okay. once you tell them to use the spell, yes. then you got to select the target. I guess I wasn't doing that. Okay. You just keep healing the rogue. Does the rogue automatically okay. like just go for backstabs? Oh, maybe it has to do if if you're the second one to make it to an enemy. I, I that seems to be what happens. It's like one guy runs to the nearest side, and then whoever's whoever else runs to the other side. It seems strange that they like. I guess they don't want to crowd their spa each other's space. They want to maximize. They're attacking from all fronts. It just seems like once you're already there, it seems like it's taking a lot of effort to go run around the other side there. Maybe you should just keep fighting from the direction you were originally facing. You guys really know how to take care of business, huh? Your guys' naps must have been just useless. What was the point even? If you're if you're not going to sleep for at least half an hour, then you're hardly even going to notice a difference. Did no one teach you how to nap properly? Yeah, color me impressed. Thanks for the help. I think we can handle any more intruders from here on out. Just for the rest of time? Just forever? That's a lot of confidence, guys. I'm, I'm glad to have inspired you so much. Hey, yeah, I'm feeling rested and ready to strike down some of these cretins myself. Good to hear. Now if you'll excuse us, we must be on our way. Sure thing. Let him pass, boys. If you follow the road directly behind us, you'll find the castle. Also, take this for your troubles. Oh, these guys realized that they were being kind of shitty and they're going to they're gonna repay the favor a little bit. Glad, glad to see it wasn't all for naught. 25 gold? You know, we're gonna have to like split one of those in half because it's not gonna divide evenly. So eight and, and one quarter golds each? That's like... Oh wait, no, I did that math wrong. <laughs> Six and a quarter. Six and a quarter each. That's uh, that's not great, guys. I don't think I can buy a whole lot with that. So, I don't know, you're probably gonna want to go back in there, clear out your savings account, and hand it over. As we've established a couple episodes ago, we aren't really the white knights of the area. We're we're a little bit corrupt. We're kind of sleaze bags. We're uh, we're willing to have our palms greased a little bit, you know. Whoa! What was that? Oh no! Guardsman, what is it? Uh, the guardsman's an uncool loser who doesn't get his name set in a unique color the way everyone else does. He just gets boring white text. Run! Hey, get back here! Tell the king we died defending the keep with honor and glory. What a bunch of cowards! Oh, it's just a bunch of harmless villagers. I think we can take them on. Let's just give them a couple quick stabs, a couple shotgun blasts to the face. I, you guys, you guys don't think you could have taken on a couple of harmless villagers? What kind of useless knights are ya? Ooh, oh god, that was a fucking speedy decapitation there. How is it that they're able to? ruin everyone so effectively in that short period of time but when I'm fighting them they're just they don't use any of their cool ninja goblin moves oh my that guy with the arrow in his eye that was a nice sharpshooting he's also just totally fucked more innocence and those guards at the gate no less cowardly than the invaders themselves let's deal with these aborted monstrosities first <laughs> what I feel like I need to go double check a dictionary and see like what other <laughs> meanings aborted has or something because he's, he's just did he go for like a pretty disturbing insult there saying that these guys are living abortions because that's gross and I assume that's not what he was going for this game seems aside from like the mild gore it's like kind of cute characters and stuff it doesn't seem like it would make abortion jokes then we can chit chat all day long to arms! Oh, we'll take these guys out no problem. Ah, pardon me, it's... Oh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do at all. It's just kind of a little bit weird that the, the priestess doesn't automatically start healing anyone. I mean, I get it, I guess. They, they wanted to give you one more thing to have to, to manage while you're controlling your army and everything. But it just it just seems like okay. when I tell everyone, all right, now attack this skeleton with the with the shift click, attack, attack the skeleton. Ooh, is this the first slime we fought? Maybe we fought one right at the start or something. But classic basic RPG enemy. But when I tell everyone to go attack one unit, yes. and then the priestess just kind of like doesn't do anything. She doesn't attack, does she? Yeah, I can't I can't like tell her to go attack yeah. an enemy or anything. So it's kind of it's kind of weird. For that to be for like when me to what am i trying to say here when i shift click on an enemy and it makes 
you know, three out of four people do something and then she just like stands around. It seems kind of weird that she wouldn't just automatically start healing someone. But then at that point, it's like initiating a battle is as simple as just shift clicking. And then there's not much more to it. So I think they wanted to add a little bit more depth to the gameplay by making sure you had to look after her as well. Uh, ever since that boss character, it seems like no one really uh, goes for the priestess. There was like that one annoying boss character, you know, who who was targeting her primarily. And it was, you know, I had to actively make sure that she wasn't dying and stuff. So that was like, that was like a little bit more challenging. Other than that, everyone seems to just go straight for the knights and everything. So I hardly even have to worry about her. Knight, I need you to do me a favor. Captain, what is it? I need you to check on the king. I had a few men heading there, but they never made it. Dang monsters. Is the king under duress? I'm not sure. Just head down the path and in, into the great hall. He's out on the castle rooftops, according to the information passed along to me. How many, how many like ways down did this information come, and then everyone just keeps like shilling it off to the next guy? They're like, ooh, stranded up on the rooftops. I don't know if I really want to deal with that. Let me go find someone else. To go tell it to. Like, I realize it's an emergency situation, but like, I don't think I'm equipped. I better. Let someone else deal with that. Of course, sir. We were actually heading to find the king ourselves anyhow. I'd go myself, but I have to provide more support to the gates outside. You must hasten, heroes. Go. Thank you. Thank you for being such a brave, bold knight, unlike your cowardly, you know, co-workers. <laughs> They're going to be... It's going to be an awful, awkward conversation around the, the... Whatever the night water cooler is. The water fountain. The town fountain. And everyone meets to talk about the... The events of this big invasion. Okay. Then... People are going to be pretty pissed off, I think. Oh, yeah, we just, we, we happened to be out of town that day. Like, uh, Jeffrey here, is, is, his mother-in-law asked that we come over for, for, like, a nice Thanksgiving dinner. And we just, we didn't make it back in time. We missed all the chaos and everything. I mean, we would have loved to help. But, you know, we, we were away for her, her uncle's birthday. And we just couldn't get away. And it'd be like, you said you were away for Thanksgiving. And they'd be like, thanks, what? That doesn't exist in this world. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, man. Let's go. Who knows? They're, they're as bad at making up excuses as I am at making up fake stories about fake excuses. Does that clarify things? Is that a, is that a good way for everyone to understand what I'm getting at here? Good, I'm glad everyone's on the same page here. Okay. Ooh, this battle's... All right. this, this is uh, quite heated. There's quite a few enemies here. Ah, oh, shit. Some, sometimes I, I go to, like, click and move characters around, and I accidentally, I'm accidentally moving the wrong people and stuff. But it's simple enough to just get people back on track to what you wanted them doing. Mostly what it usually ends up being is I forget to hold shift for some, some things, and then, like, one guy just ends up, like, hanging out over here while everyone else is taking care of the actual battle. I can't, I can't shift click just to get everyone to move to one place. I have to individually move people, it yes. seems like. Uh, how do I, I... There we go. I, I couldn't forget how... I forgot how to heal myself for a minute there. Ooh, a, a troll. I think the trolls are probably some of the stronger of the enemies. So I, I want to keep the priestess away from, from that. Sure. And... That guy's... That guy's easy. He's, he's hardly even a concern. Let's go. Maybe I shouldn't... Maybe I shouldn't be switching who I'm attacking here so much. Oh, come on, use your big attack. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna get you to oh fuck fuck. Come on. Oh, I I, I can do this. I, I can I can keep everyone alive. Wow, that heals a that heals a shitload of damage. That heals more than I thought it did actually. I don't have to worry about anything. It's gonna be easy peasy to keep everyone alive. Is this my experience down at the bottom here? Let's see after I kill this guy. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. They don't you don't gain a lot of experience at once, do you? Two loot bags, awesome. Shreds of leather, not so awesome. And tattered cloth. So basically, I just ripped the bags up into bits and pieces and considered that loot. I think that's a little bit garbage. That's not really how that works. You don't find a chest full of treasure, like, break it apart and then, like, hammer it back together into a nightstand and say that you found a nightstand. It doesn't count. It's cheating. <laughs> it's not real loot. Next time, guys, I'm gonna go to the head of the loot manager for the Century Night Tactics world, and I'm gonna go tell him that I don't consider bags to be real loot. They're bags of goodies and loot. They need to be containing things. The bag itself is not a reward. So quit trying to tell me that it is. 
That's baloney, and I'm calling you out on your shit, sir. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon.